Guys, I am graced with Kirk Kreifels' presence while we are taking the Land Cruiser, Land Cruiser grade. Uh, I'm not sure if LCLC. this is LCLC. LCLC. So good they said it twice. Not sure like if this is a premium package or what. They're a cool box. Oh yeah, yeah. this is a, a cool this box. is a premium package. I almost want to keep it open to so I can cool off my hands a bit. <laughs> but it's not that cool. No, it's not. You know, I was in a Defender this past week. That thing was literally like a freezer. Like you could put ice cream and stuff in it. I didn't try that. Probably it's possible. Could. You it's never possible. know. It was freezing. Kirk has done this trail in the tacos, and yep. uh, we're both kind of doing it in the Land Cruiser for the first. Oh, time. you haven't done it in the Land Cruiser, I, dude. I've been so busy today. Like, this is my first final, like, finally doing content today. You know, the taco felt firmer than this. Oh, is this that is just a, like a cloud for sure. I think it's these seats too. These seats are just so plush. You know, that could be. You got the center diff locked. Uh, yep. all right. Yeah, looks like yeah. Oh yeah. Everything's right there on the screen. So yeah, only center diff locked. Should be good. Is that going to be one of the first things you do, John, is remove the running boards? <laughs> so you put some sliders on it? Well, so the first edition comes with like the tinier kind of sliders oh, on that's it. that's not bad. So okay. they're not running boards though. I, I kind of do like these running boards. I'm not sure like what I want to do with the Land Cruiser yet. You know, it's, it's like so good from the back. It really too. is. And it's that thing on YouTube where people see now all this right here that I can see. It was hard to see this in the Tacoma. You're 100% Holy right. Holy crap. This visibility because it was like cut off right there. Yeah, at I the couldn't hill. see. I couldn't see it either. But now as now, we, of course, you need yeah, to, yeah, use that. Yeah. Wow. This this windscreen's huge. Holy smokes. Hey, boys. How's hey. it going? All right, same thing as yesterday, rear diff. Perfect, rear diff on now. Perfect, you can play with the steady bar on or off if you want to. Okay. Um, you can play with crawl control or MTS. You can layer them if you guys didn't know that, or you can run them independently of one another. Sounds good. Don't vary too far uh -huh. right or left, otherwise it's a little sandy and you'll be the first people in the ditch today. Perfect, We mm, always not, nice not to be the first at some stuff. <laughs> so we got the multi-terrain select and we'll just do uh, auto or auto. auto. Yeah just because it's kind of a little bit of both. And then crawl control, go ahead and put that on. And with, we'll go with three for that. And we'll just let her do the, its the work. The light turned off on MTS when it you did? press control, crawl control. It's hard to see. So maybe you can't layer them or maybe yeah, yeah, the, there it goes. oh, it's going, oh, oh, oh so we got both on oh, now. hold on. No, crawl control turned off when I put the MTS on. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, that's well, actually cool they, though. They layer. I, they don't, do. I don't know, but. We'll, maybe the light's not on. If you, if you see the light, the light. This is going to be your truth. Right oh, because we're in auto right there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So okay. It's both so that's on MTS. The that's crawl. Oh, okay. Sway bar four low. So the center rear. The okay. screen is is uh, more accurate than the the illumination the of the themselves. buttons. Okay. Yeah. When you select MTS, you'll mm -hmm. notice the icon on the dash will actually change its its icon. Oh, that's a cool little cactus. All right. I'll put the crawl control back on. Back up to three. I never even noticed that before. I wonder if my Tacoma is the same way. The that more thing. you Thank know. You. So fancy. So fancy. But wait, I don't even need my feet on the no, brakes yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah, I forgot that anything. we did that. Yeah. Three speed crawl gear. You just need steering. Right. Yeah. So my feet are off the wheels, everyone. Just doing its thing. Uh, no, it was really, really plush. But these seats and this, these are like fifth gen forerunner seats, man. They are this so good. This feels like Lexus smooth compared to the old man Emu mm -hmm. Trail Hunter. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's it's got to hold a bunch of cargo. Ooh. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good drop. Yeah. That was a good drop. But yeah, I feel I already feel like this is a little bit more nimble than the Tacoma mm -hmm. offer. And that was the small wheelbase I was in. Correct. Yesterday. Because okay. they right. have they have also the long wheelbase here. Right. You could just do this whole <laughs> thing in crawl control, which you, would be you crazy. Could. It would take forever, but yeah. we could do it. Well, now what do you think here? Are you okay? Oh my gosh, I hate this. Are we good? Yeah. It is? What do you mean, are we good? Well like I just hate being at an angle like this. 30 degree angle? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think it's fine. That's what this course is. I don't remember being this drastic in the Tacoma yesterday though. <laughs> I hate freaking being at an angle like this, bro. It is always butt puckering for me. Well, I would be the one that is closest to the ground. That's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we made it through. We made it through. So what did you think of the Trail Hunter, sorry, the uh, TRD Pro mm -hmm. on the super fast course? 
man, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. Um, did you feel like a little kid? I did, and then like, so we did the course probably like six or seven times, and I was just running and running and running on it. Yeah. And it felt- I could do it again, but I don't think I could have any more fun. It's like, you know, going on a roller coaster. Right. It's like, yeah, you can do the roller coaster over. It's mm -hmm. the same experience. It's still fun, mm -hmm. but like, once you get that one adrenaline, like that one hit, ooh. Right. You just wanna like, keep I'm doing good. it. I'm well, good. but the yeah. crazy thing is like with a roller coaster, it can't change, right? But when you're- That's true, when you're in control. You can yeah. hit the corner harder, you can- jump, Kick out the tail. Can kick out the tail, jump the truck a little further, go faster through the washboards and yeah. everything. Yeah. But- There's I, different ways, yeah. Yeah, there's tons of different ways to, and it's the same, have you ever like tracked a car before or anything? No, of course, yeah. Yeah, yes. so like yeah. you get more confident with the car, but I'll tell you oh, with the- for sure. With the TRD Pro. So I didn't realize how much I talked about the Tacoma, but all those driving impressions for the hybrid TRD Pro, Trail Hunter, all that stuff will be live on April 23rd on my channel. But if you can't wait till then and you need to buy stuff for your Tacoma, head on over to Yodaverse, guys. I will leave a link to their website in the description and also the pinned comment with a discount code to their site. They're a one-stop shop for everything Toyota. If you have a 4Runner, Tundra, Tacoma, they have partnered with a ton of brands and other companies. I've used them in the past. They've been great. They're a sponsor here on the channel, so you'll be hearing more about them in future videos, guys. But again, links down in the description and pinned comment. Back to the video. <sighs> to be honest, like I know the Land Cruiser like nameplate is good for off-road, but I am just more comfortable in a truck. Like I don't care for very top heavy vehicles while off road, like okay. on the trail hunter being at 30 degrees like that, I felt a little bit more comfortable. It I, didn't feel as tippy as- I think it's because it has a wider track. Maybe. Right? Yeah, oh, maybe because we're up a little bit higher. Yeah, maybe you know I wasn't as high with the trail yeah, hunter. Yeah, I have to, I don't know the metrics, but remember like the trail hunter and the trd pro tacoma have like a three inch wider track correct the standard model mm -hmm. and i wonder what it is compared to this right and this too with the electronic power steering it's very um it's very loose i feel like the yeah. tacoma like i could just like really turn the steering wheel i don't feel a lot of feedback to yeah. that i kind of want to have while off-road get it yeah i get it it's it's almost it's almost a little too plushy plushy. Yeah. Which I'm curious if you put it in sport mode. I don't know why you would put it in sport, sport mode and off road. Yeah, in yeah. four low, but like I'm curious if that would tighten up the steering wheel a little right. bit. Cause it's like I mean it's nice because it's a big car to just move like this, but it's it is very kind of nummy feeling. This guy's a champ. Oh he yeah. Just waits out here for people. Yeah. Oh there's a lizard. Do you see him on the lock? Oh, oh he, yeah. He ran up. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. It's so plush though. So oh smooth. my gosh. But right here with the trail hunter, you would hear that the snorkel. Did you hear that at all? I, I didn't. Oh, I had the windows gosh. up. Oh, you missed out, bro. It was so good. I, I have a video on my phone to uh, share with you then, because I did a short form content uh, content with it. Ooh. I think that's a running board. Probably just yeah. scraping a little bit. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Make my life easy. There we go. <laughs> These seats are comfortable on this. They sure are. I love this little stream here. Oh, it's beautiful. This whole area is just stunning. Thanks. Yes, sir. That's just amazing how well these things can climb with, mm. in mud. Oh, yeah. Like. <laughs> it's that low end torque, man. So I mean, 465 yeah. foot pounds of torque at 1500 RPM it's, is it's just always there. And this to me just feels more peppy. Yeah, and it's it is a different environment, right? right? On road versus off. That is true. So like this is it's in its element right now. On road, the Land Cruiser can do it and do it really well, but it's kind of like the Land Cruiser is like the jack of all trades vehicle. Mm. It can do anything pretty damn well. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
I want to see the travel on the back of this thing. I mean, so we're just doing this interior video, just Kirk and I just kind of BSing for you guys. Yeah. And these trails, so it's an awesome trail that they have us on, but they have so many vehicles running, both the trail hunters and the land cruisers, that it's a little bit hard for us to kind of get out. And it's a very tight trail for us to really get out and do content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, there's nowhere to pull off. Right, yeah. or if you do and someone goes through it, the other person has to like run and catch up, which and, isn't that big of a deal. But. And like, this is Rattlesnake USA. Yeah, Jeff was doing the forerunner and he's like, holy crap, there's a rattlesnake right next to him. Yeah. They Crazy. Are, yeah, they are uh, everywhere out here. I'm good not getting hit by yeah. a rattlesnake. I'm okay. So this was plush. This is definitely luxury. Absolutely. Honestly. A little bit more than the outgoing 200 series. Yeah, yeah, it's potentially more capable. It's definitely lighter. Yeah, lighter, um, torquier, cheaper. It actually does have more <laughs> torque than the old V8. It, it does, That's yeah. That's crazy, I didn't think about that, but. That was my thing when I was making the video at the Heritage Museum when this thing was announced, is everyone, you know, if you care about numbers, oh, four smaller than eight, like for a V8. And Cylinders, like, yeah. Then look at the torque numbers, because that torque is significantly higher. The, not only is it higher, it's higher at like bargain, like not bargain, bin, but basement RPMs. Yeah, 1700, which is just. Peak torque. Yeah. But then it, it continues that torque too, through the, out, out, out the rev range. Correct. Bit, yeah, so. it doesn't like die off no. and stuff. That's impressive. That's what turbos do, and that's what electrification does. Yeah, combining so it. So combine the two, and we got a very, like, it's it's so easy to take this off-road. I've driven the LX600, which is a 300 series, mm -hmm. right, just a little bit fancier. Driven that off-road, that's amazing too, but like the effortlessness of this electrified turbo setup is really impressive. It really is. I mean, I just... I felt like I was just moving the steering wheel just, just easily yeah, yeah. and just like, Little hey, break. we're done, you Little know? Break. Yeah, you hardly any like gas pedal. No. Because it's just always there. Right. Yeah. The only part where I was just kind of, and it's just myself because I'm a little baby, is just when you're off camber so much, you're, you're not supposed to do that. I mean, it's fun and the, the car does it and stuff. I'm <laughs> sure they get this vehicle like, I don't know, way more degree in testing, but yeah. it's butt puckering to me and I don't <laughs> I don't care for it. Right for you getting your first Land, Cru Land Cruiser, mm -hmm. not only that, like a first edition. First edition, yeah. Um, what does that mean for your Tacoma? Are you going to hang on to it? Are you going to use that as a little trade-in value? I know this is like new news for your channel, yeah, it is. but it's exciting to hear. Uh, I definitely wanted to keep the Tacoma as long as possible. I like it. The Land Cruiser is just kind of one of those things. I had a Sequoia for only like six months and I wanted to keep it for a while, yeah. uh, but it just wasn't, it wasn't practical enough for like what we were doing. But the Land Cruiser, I feel like will be better than the Sequoia that we had. So I want to just test it out for people. And if I keep it six months, a year or something like that, uh, I think that the first edition value will stay a little bit higher, hopefully. If, well, it's a Land Cruiser, right? Like, right. You're not going to lose, in theory, lose too much money on right. it. But and if, but if I have to sell it though, because like we like buy another house or something, I don't sure. know. Getting into way too much yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, we'll we'll see what it's the exciting. audience wants of it yeah. and stuff. I'm excited. I don't I don't like the price, but I mean it is what it is. It's a Land Cruiser it's a Land at Cru the end of the day. It's way less expensive. Well, not not way less because first edition's getting up into like this. Is it the 70s at yeah, that point? Yeah, the MSRP is like 74 with right. five with destination. So at that point, you're only about 10 grand less compared to the 200 series right. that left. Right. Right. Which was still 10 years old at that point and yeah. stuff too. And this is better in every like conceivable way. I know V8 people will freak right. out on me. Except for proven reliability. Proven, except I mean, for we, proven. we have to let it prove itself, but still, I mean, features alone, like if you just ignore what's up front and underneath, yeah. which underneath is still more capable with all the off-road nanny features and stuff, and the yeah. crawl control not, clunk, 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 clunk. Oh, clunk. the crawl I mean, control just, alone, yeah. I don't know. It, it's, it's one of those things that it, it doesn't portray on video that well. Like you just have to, experience it I guess this, I this yeah this feel like it's so funny the Tacoma even though it's so much better than the old Tacoma mm -hmm. it's still very trucky oh 100% like super utilitarian yeah. this thing is luxury and you pay the price for it but 100%. damn you get like you know you can either get this or Lexus GX and mm -hmm. they're both similarly priced you just get two different powertrain options as well it's great to have that Correct. option which so. one do you like I'm a big fan of hybrids mm -hmm. So I might, I like the Land Cruiser maybe a little bit more, but 
The GX Overtrail with the, the EKDSS is also like a, a cheat code for yeah. off-roading. That was even like smoother off-road for it's the little just, bit that we got to do. Yeah, I didn't get to drive it off-road, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, okay. it, was, it was flooded that day. Oh, but, geez, that stinks. Yeah, but they're both super capable. It's really, it's gr great to have options. Mm -hmm. And the thing is the GX, later this year, next year, we'll be getting this powertrain too. Oh, it is this yeah. one confirmed? A hundred percent. Oh, it, I mean, it has to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not gonna be the twin turbo V6 hybrid. Yeah, that'd be wild. I think <laughs> that that's a lot, that's a lot of power yeah. and a lot of weight too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just think it'll be this one. And it's actually already available in Europe. Oh, really? The GX oh, hybrid. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Bye everyone.